Hey party people, it's Technic, and today we're going to look at a cost-effective solution for music, communication, and information with this, the Nova Pro wireless earbuds from Fisher. Let's go! These are the Nova Pro wireless earbuds by Fisher. This is model FTW975. We'll, we'll put the model number right up here. If you're in the market right now looking for this, well, there's a couple of things happening, but one is prices have gone crazy. Ground beef is up almost 50%. Yeah. With the newest gen of, of earbuds, um, whether those are Apple or Samsung or Google, just skyrocketing. This is going to be a very, very low cost entry into that. So are we expecting top tier performance? Probably not. But what we're hoping is some usability here with the battery life, some comfort, and then some decent sound. They are IPX4 waterproof, okay? There is a mic built in, so you can use this for phone calls, not just for music. So this, this does have both. You can listen and talk. It says that they're also Google and Siri enabled devices. The case that the earbuds go in is a rubberized protective case. So I, I think that that should be a nice feature to this because one of the first things you run into when you're rocking like the new AirPods is that this case gets dinged up pretty good. And, and that's what this nice little hefty rubber shoe is, is it's a stylized way of keeping the AirPods in there. Same way with these for the uh, Galaxy Buds, a uh, little Game Boy looking thing. But what that really is, is on top of the style, um, is some protection to the case, which can take a lot of damage. All right, if we can actually get in this, there we go. Now it says this will give you 14 hours of playtime. That's with the charge case. So you have to put them back into the case to get that full charge. Three and a half hours or so of playtime on a single charge. That would have to charge four times to give you 14 hours. So in the box, we're gonna have a tiniest of tiny charge cables, but it is USB-C, that's good. That's a good modern uh, fitting. So we're not going to be looking back through all of our old cables to charge this. We do have some replacement uh, rubber pieces for the ears so you can have different sizes because let's be honest, not everyone's holes are the same size. You can't keep getting away with it! The standard one that's in here, I will say, is probably on the smaller side. Now, while we're kind of figuring out what we got going on here and looking at these, I'm going to toss these in here to make sure that these are getting connected. So they do go in a little awkwardly, but there is a magnetic little attachment there that, that pulls those. That's very odd. So they will actually go in two directions, but they'll only close in one direction. Now we were getting flashing light, so it was probably telling us we're idiots and to stop. Being USB-C, this will allow you to use many other things to charge this, uh, so you're not stuck to this tiny little thing here. However, wireless charging does not look to be a feature of this device. I will say as far as the case goes, the description of rubberized case, that's very generous. This has a very, very thin uh, covering over it of some type. I would no stretch of the imagination would I say this is rubber and protective at all. If we do a little comparison, that's not wholly different than the Galaxy Buds. Nothing so foreign that I think it looks ridiculous laying next to even the newest gen AirPods. When we're looking at this as far as style goes, I don't think there's anything wildly out of line there that's going to be of concern. Now, what I do think we're going to see is a decent difference in performance of, of, this, of these devices. But what we're gonna do first is test these before I have the current like the, the sound performance in my ear. I haven't used these in a day or so. So I'm kind of like as fresh of a template. It's like cleansing your palate. My ears, my ear holes have been cleansed. So let's get in here and see what we have as far as comfort. Now, I'm, I, I hate that I'm gonna say this out loud right now. Comfort wise, the ear pod is not near as soft as the coverings on Samsung's or Apple's. It feels pretty stinking comfortable, surprisingly. So now I'm gonna open this up and be searching 
for uh, so I can uh, match with this device. And we're looking for the Fisher FTW975. Now, I am going to go ahead and do both so that we get that comparison. Let's see where my volume is. I know you're not going to hear this, going to hear this, but you just got to trust me, okay? And we're going to pick a song that I've listened to a thousand times over the last few weeks. Uh, Timberlake's Selfish. Don't know why, but it's is stuck in my head. And there's some good bass in here and there's a lot of the, obviously the mid-range sounds and then JT's higher than normal vocals. Can you get a shot of this where my volume is at? I'd say what, 20 to 25% volume is where we were right there. We're gonna keep that the same as we test these other devices. But I wanna say this right out of the gate. I don't think you would wanna listen to these louder than that. Um, there is a ton of bass and treble and mids happening. Here's the little bit of a problem that I have. At 25%, it's already not super clear. It's like if I had a punch bowl and I'm just throwing everything in there. Nothing is quite clear and crisp. Now, volume, wow. That, I mean, that is as loud as you would ever actually, I think, want to listen to those. The fit, too, actually was surprisingly good. Now, we're talking 25 bucks right there, right? And so, just comparatively, real quick, just, just for a sanity check, I'm just going to re-experience the connection with uh, these AirPods and just do a quick comparison to those. All right, here we go. We're going to do the exact same thing. And I'm just going to, again, you're not going to hear exactly what I'm hearing. You just got to trust my ear holes to, uh, to, to make some sense of this for you. I'm at 50%. And I'm now doing about the same volume that I was getting out of the Fishers. The big difference being these are extremely rich. They're deep. They're clear. I don't have any rattle. I don't have any bleed over. That's kind of what I expected. But holy crap, going back to back with these, um, the quality of these, the, air, the sound in the AirPod um, is vastly different. Now, should be. Because here's your AirPod price. And here's your Fisher Nova Pro price. Quickly, I would like to test the microphone in the Nova Pro. We're getting this through the studio mics here that we can use back and forth as a comparison. And we're also getting it here off of the Fisher Nova Pros directly to uh, John's phone. So this is the best quality test we're gonna grab to give you actually what John's hearing. So just to do that and give you something nice and clean, I'm gonna say, if you haven't done it yet, go to www.thegameswitch.com and check out our store. It's a small retail front uh, online, but it is an amazing store and sponsors half of our videos at this point. And we are very, very grateful to them. And now we're going to give you a sampling of the AirPods for a comparison. All right, it has a connected. So we're going to do the exact same thing. If you haven't done it yet, go to www.thegameswitch.com and you can check out the website there. Um, that should give you a good sampling to compare from a super expensive set of, of AirPods uh, to a $25 set of Fisher Nova Pros. The last thing I'll touch on is gonna be the durability. And with the buds, I've had these take some spills. I've had these fall out. I've, I mean, I've really seen these kind of be treated and used by kids, by adults, by a wide range of people, and I've seen great performance and resilience out of this. So the sound quality has stayed the same and stayed great and stayed optimal, and the device itself has taken kind of a beating and kept on going. Now, AirPods, newer in the rotation. I'm a little more concerned that something might give out in these than maybe I should be, uh, definitely when I'm talking about the case, the hinge is like the lightest feeling thing. But the durability here um, is pretty good as well. Now, when I get to this, like I said earlier, the case leaves a lot to be desired. This really feels like it's just falling open and closed. Again, not a deal breaker, but I think you're going to have the possibility um, that this would open during use. Now, once it is open, there is enough of a magnetic pull to that that I don't they're not gonna fall out easily okay now all right now I mean that's you know that's not great but it's not horrible either right the galaxy buds a much stronger magnet and not falling out and let's look at our airpods and I would say that the airpods maybe feel even a little more secure in there than the galaxy buds do surprisingly I think it's fine 
but I think it's a little things that are different from some high ends other than just the sound quality, maybe battery performance. The durability of this is going to come a little bit into question. The hinge, the ability for these things to fall out and get lost. Again, the main thing is for 25 bucks, are they usable? Absolutely. They're surprisingly comfortable. Not the clearest thing that I've ever used, but surprisingly loud. There's no noise cancellation like you have in these other devices. There's no filtering. There's none of that. And so this is truly just a device for getting some music, a phone call, or getting some information. I know that sounds weird, but more and more people now with wearable devices being out there are using these because this is the relay and whether that be a watch phone or AR goggle, Apple Vision goggles or Quest 3, that you need a way of getting that information. Another way too is with Google Map use. More and more of, uh, for example, your Uber drivers are wearing earbuds um, so the, the passengers aren't hearing the turn by turn. There's a lot of situations like that that are very useful. Or I'm in a pedestrian mode out walking down the street. These would be loud enough to cover that very easily. So if you have any questions, guys, make sure to ask us. We'll be we'll do our best to answer those. I think for 25 bucks, this is a great entry for a cheap price or something to get you through till you buy the your, the one you're waiting on. Or great for kids. I think if you're an adult and a professional, you probably this would be a temporary set for you while you wait to to get the device that you're looking for. Guys, I'm Nick with Technic. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll catch you next time.